Hello, it is Scott here from Digital Puppets, back with another quick tips tutorial video for all of you Adobe character animators out there. Uh, remember, if there's anything you'd like help with, just put a comment below and that might be the next video that we get to. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can improve and make great looking arm triggers for your puppet using the replay behavior. Right, for this tutorial, we're going to use our uh, template man that we've made. This character is uh, completely free so if you want to download it you can either go directly to our avatar store which is avatarstore.co.uk and you'll find him down here um, completely free to download or you can go to our digital puppets page and click on the puppet store and that will bring you to the exact same place. First of all to make sure that your arms are going to move properly so they're going to bend the right way for when you set up your arm replay triggers you're going to want to have IK set up correctly the arm IK as you can see here behavior I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video because Dave Werner of OK Samurai has already made a great video explaining how to do it which you can see right here I will put a link below directly to this video but he explains exactly what you do what you need to do to get it set up right so once you've got that set up this is how we rig our arms up so that they we think work the best way possible obviously you've got your shoulder first of all i would always say have your shoulder hinged um, because when you have it welded it creates a bit of distortion which can work with some puppets great especially if you've created the arm and the body all as one graphic but if you've managed to produce your arm on a separate layer then i would recommend using using the hinge option uh, then make sure you put an elbow tag there and here on your hand that's where we put the dragger and also list it as a right risk which you can use by clicking on over here. Right once you've got that set up you want to select the bone tool. Now I know often um, you see people do this they put um, one there one there and job's done but um, what we like to do is to do it this way we put one one side of the arm and another the other side of the arm and then we do the same for the forearm and then we leave just a bit of a gap so that you get a nice bend for the elbows so that it's not too sharp looking so there's a bit of a bend there you'll see what I mean in a minute right let's go to record like I say this isn't a long tutorial at all have your dragger set up um, for making the replay you'll see in a minute it's best to have it um, set to hold in place so let's say we want the character to do a hi hello gesture what we're going to do is we're going to drag the arm up into place and then we're going to go to timeline and we're going to go to record two frames then we're going to zoom right in and we're going to move this out and then we're going to drag each of the corners in for the easing in and out so it's not an abrupt jump and then we're going to right click here we're going to blend in and then we're going to blend out so just to confirm for the start here we have blend out and then we have blend in at the end what we do next is we select here and we press right click and create replay and trigger and then you'll see here it says dragger and over here it says dragger so we're going to rename that as um, right arm hello and we're going to press enter and put right arm hello and then what I'm going to do here is well I don't need to because it's already set to stop and sustain what that means is when you press oh, make sure that you've got triggers active so that you can um, test it out right so we're going to press play 
and when you've got it as stop and sustain it will hold it in place however if you've got it set to the other option which is let replay finish it's going to do this which is fine for some replays but for the arm triggers you want more control over how long you hold them in place so we like to set them to stop and sustain so press play and there you go now what you can do over here so let's look over at the trigger option on the left hand side of the screen I'm gonna press my left button and the mouse down on it and I'm gonna drag it across to here press perform and then we're gonna put and there you go you've got a nice looking arm trigger now you can do different things um, you can incorporate hand movements into this so let's just delete this in the timeline for a second and we're going to do a new one so let's see um, let's have him pointing so I'm going to drag it his arm to about there and I'm going to press the pointing hand that I've got made now for this to work you do again have to make sure you got triggers active so you want triggers active and you want dragger active so I'm going to have him pointing and again I'm going to go um, up to timeline and I'm going to record two frames and once more I'm going to select all them layers and I'm going to drag all of them out to the 12 second mark in there at the start I've got it pulled into the two frame mark and also two frames for the end once again I'm going to do the blending curve for ease out for the start and ease in for the end again right click create replay and you'll see it over here so again I'm going to press enter type in right arm point and over on the left hand side right arm point again make sure that is set to stop and sustain and when I press play to test it here it should be pointing there you go a nice smooth action and that's it really i just wanted to make a quick video to show how you can create a great looking arm trigger using the replay behavior if you have any questions about what i've shown you in this video put a comment below and i'll be happy to reply and explain i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you find it helpful and we'll be back with more tutorials very soon bye Hello, it's Scott here from Digital Puppets and I'm back for another quick tips tutorial video on Hello, it's Scott here from Digital Puppets and I'm back for another quick tips tutorial Oh my god, why is this so hard to say? Hello, oh Jesus Christ, I can't even say hello now, bloody hell Next. But in this video, we're going to be helping people um, improve their arm trigger. Oh my God! Jesus Christ! Bloody hell! Why can I not say this? Jesus, my memory is so bad. But for today, um... Jeez, why can't I say this? Why can I not get this right? Oh, bloody hell. But Dave Warner never has this problem. <laughs>